Hi, I'm Matt Slaughter, and I'm the system tech lead for our ADAS offerings in the transportation business unit at NNI. What we have here is a Replay Hill demo showing off our Replay Hill offering for testing autonomous driving vehicles. Here you see our Monodrive simulation software running, and this Monodrive simulation software is feeding data down to this real-time PXI chassis. The real-time PXI chassis then emulates all of the sensors you would see in a real vehicle and sends that down to an ECU that will then respond based on those inputs, and that feedback is then given back up to the simulator in a closed-loop a closed loop scenario. Here you can see visualization of the different sensors we have running in this model. This is a LiDAR model running, this is radar, and we also have our camera model running in the system. So I can talk to a few different components that we have here. This is all being automated through Testan. This could also be automated through Python or C++ or C Sharp, any of the language you want. This is all automated through gRPC commands. We are running through multiple scenarios on Monodrive. So in this case, you see the same scenario being driven over and over again, but with different weather patterns. This Monodrive simulation is running on this Titan server at the bottom of the system here. This is typically a system that would have really high-powered GPUs, so you could do your image rendering for 4K or 8K cameras. You may have 10 or 12 cameras in a specific system. That data then all gets piped up to this RT Linux system over RDMA and standard network technology. From there, we pipe that over the interfaces you would see in your vehicle down to the ECU. So if you have standard connectors for your cameras or your LiDAR or your radar, those connectors will directly connect up to this system as well. And again, your ECU thinks it's really in a vehicle getting data from these real sensors. So a test system like this can be used to provide coverage for all of your testing needs for your autonomous driving. So if you are trying to test a specific scenario, turning right at a stop sign, for example, you may want to try hundreds of variations of weather patterns or colors of vehicles or pedestrians, locations of trees nearby the vehicle. You can do all that in simulation and ensure coverage for all of those testing needs for your specific ECU functionality. This system can be used for both replay scenarios and for simulation-based hill. In a replay scenario, you're taking data recorded from a real vehicle, live sensors, while the driver's out driving around, and playing that data directly back to the ECU. Again, that ECU then thinks it's in that vehicle that was just driven around for that scenario. The other option is to play data back from a simulation environment, where you are completely simulating that entire environment and playing back virtual data. But the car, or the, the ECU still needs to think that it is in a real car. This system can do the same actions for both of those scenarios. A common thing to test with these systems is also injecting faults into your data. So you may be taking uh, data recorded from a real vehicle, or you may be taking simulation data, but you want to do things like have a frame get missed, or a CRC fail, or uh, having the wrong data pass to the wrong port. Those kind of things you can simulate in the system without actually affecting a vehicle on the road.